today i'm making cocoa otherwise known as porridge for my son and also for myself for breakfast so this recipe will be needing the corn dough this is the one kg pack it's made from maize and it is made in the uk this is usually used for making the ghana kenke or ghana banku i also used a sieve for this procedure I used two small bowls for this procedure as well. I also used the African bush. Um, it's called Winti in Ghana language. And in my language, Robo is called Imiene. I also used a small pot with some little water in it. And some more water for mixing I start by taking one of the small bowls and grabbing my corn dough now I'm just going to put some of the corn dough into the bowl just break break it with your fingers into the bowl I preserve the corn dough in my freezer this is the best way in my opinion to preserve it so before starting this procedure i brought it out of the freezer for about an hour or two and i put it in some room temperature water just to defreeze it so i'm just breaking it and adding some more into the bowl this is going to be enough for my son and i Now I grab some water and I put water in it just a little bit to start the procedure. The water is to help it break down. So I grab the spoon and then I'm just separating the corn dough into bits with my spoon. This makes it a little bit easier before I go ahead to use my hands. So I wash my hands and then I'm using my clean fingers just to mash the corn dough. I added some more water and I just continued mashing. This is the finished look and you can see the particles in it. Now I'm going to go ahead and sieve the mixture so grabbing my sieve I start sieving separating the particles from the clear liquid I'm all done with sieving you can see how much particles come out of the corn dough usually when they make banku they don't remove the particles banku is made with the every part of the corn dough now I put my small pot on fire or on the cooker rather and I allow it to boil for about a minute or two as soon as it starts boiling I go ahead and add my mixture now i just slowly stir because it's still very watery so if i stir with too much force it's going to spill i go ahead and stir you have to stand and stir throughout the whole procedure as soon as you see lumps forming you just use the spatula to hit against the wall of the pot or your pan and you have to increase the speed of stirring I increase my speed so that it would not coagulate so just stare stare keep staring keep hitting the spatula just mash the big particles or the big lumps and you start seeing that your porridge is forming it gets thicker if you don't want it too thick then you can add a little bit of water but if it's okay for you just leave it like so
my porridge is ready my cocoa is ready now I'm just going to go ahead and remove the wing tea or the African bush or Nene. as it's called so I'm just going to pour my porridge into this thermal flax for my son this is to keep it hot for as long as it remains so I forgot to mention the wing tea is just used to add flavor to there's a scent that comes out of it I personally don't think it's that important but this was how I was taught by my Ghanaian family because this is mostly a Ghanaian recipe So I just took out a small portion that I was going to feed my son with and then the leftover for mama. I, I love this so much. It's just so nice in my opinion. Then I went ahead to add some sugar. And then I added some milk. Some more milk because I love milk so much. Now I just stir. Stir thoroughly. And then there you have it. Yummy. So I have mixed my son's porridge with his milk. You can mix the milk before adding the porridge to it. It makes the mixing process easier. Mix the milk with some warm water or some bit of hot water and then you add your porridge to it and you stir. This will avoid, um, prevent the milk from forming particles. Yeah, happy baby. He has finished his meal and then he had some water and he went straight to sleep. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video and drop a comment down below. If you love this recipe, drop a comment. If you've had this recipe before, also drop a comment down below. Thank you very much and bye.